Welcome back to a passion detailer, my friends. Today we are going to do a review on PNS Brake Buster. This is a wheel and tire cleaner. So, if you want some tips and tricks on how to use it and see how good it is, sit back, relax, and let's get it. So, PNS Brake Buster, what is it and how does it work? So, it's a wheel and tire cleaner. It's also acid free, means it's safe on all OEM finishes. Not just that, it's high foam in action that is going to make cleaning your tyres super, super easy. And for a lot of people, having a wheel and tyre cleaner is going to make you guys have a lot easier job at home. It does say that you can use this for any type of wheel cleaning, and it is meant to be the equivalent to an acid. So I assume this is high alkaline, making the job cleaning at home very, very simple. You can actually dilute this product. It doesn't say that on the packaging, but I do know that this can be diluted to your preference. One to one seems to be the perfect one for me, and I will show you how that works later. There's also some, uh, some added benefits of, of this product. It, stops your brake discs from corroding and what i mean by that is normally when you've used a wheel cleaner the brake rotors or discs depending on where you live they go like a brownie horrible color and when you once you drive that your car it's then gonna go all over your wheels that you've just cleaned and for me that's an absolute pet hate and this product here does have some corrosion inhibitors in it and leaves a coating behind on your brake discs and also on your wheels to prevent them from corroding in for in in the future so a fantastic product let me know in the comments below what you guys are using at home and if you use pns brake buster or if you're using something different so do let me know in the comments below at the end of the video, I will tell you how much this product is here in the UK and also in the US and sometimes why this may not be for everyone here in the UK and why a lot of people in the US will buy this product. So let's go and do this demo on this Audi and I'll show you how filthy the wheels are. So then guys, so this Audi's wheels have not been cleaned in well over three months and you can see that they are filthy dirty. You've got some real baked on dirt there. So that may not come off with Brake Buster, but we'll find out. And inside the barrels, they have seen better days. But, and also the tires are very, very brown. You can see the brown, brown in here on the tires. And Brake Buster is going to demolish it, we hope. So, Let's start. So we're going to start using Brake Buster. We're going to spray this neat onto the tyres first. I say, a little does go a long way and already the browning that's coming off those tyres is amazing. What I like to do is then get my pump sprayer and spray the tyres. And then I'm going to bring you in to show you how quickly this is reacting. So you can see already just a bit of foam and the cleaner has made those tyres go brown already. We'll do the wheel faces separately. So I don't waste product. I'm going to just use my foamer, spray some foam in, the, in there and we're going to agitate lightly. You don't need to press hard and you're going to work your way around the wheel. And just to show you the muck that's coming off, that is horrendous. So it's high foam action. So typically, what you will need to do when you're cleaning your tires, if you don't know already, is if they haven't been done for some time, you'll need to do a couple of passes. So this is our first pass. I'm gonna rinse off. I'm going to show you it using a pump sprayer. And 
and then we're going to do the same process again. So this would really be for your maintenance washes, 50-50 mix. It will remove some of that horrible dressing if you've got any old, old dressing on there. And it's also going to clean the tyre as well. You'll know when the tyre is clean because this foam will no longer be brown. So at the moment it's still quite brown. And then we're going to rinse off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to again use Brake Buster again, but I'm going to use it neat to see actually how much browning it's removed. I'm not going to use too much. A little does go a long way to see actually was that enough? So hopefully this pass will be white. And if it's not, we will go again. And it's relatively white, there's a bit of brown left. Please bear in mind that these tyres haven't been cleaned for some time. So that you can see there that it's it's still quite brown, but it's getting whiter. And then we're going to rinse off again. And then we're going to do one more hit. So this is the fourth time. Couple of spritzes on the tyres. Leave it for a second. I'm gonna put some foam in my brush and then we're gonna agitate. And already you can see now that that foam is, is very white, means that that tire is clean and ready to go. So that tire now is clean, removed any old dressing and all the browning that comes off the tires when they've not been cleaned for some time. So that's ready to now be rinsed off. Right, so we're now gonna clean these wheels and we're gonna use it in a pump sprayer. So just make sure your pump sprayer is pumped up. and gets it all in barrels and you're going to leave that to dwell for a small period of time. You can see that it's high foam in action. And then what we're going to do is you're going to get your wheel brush. These detail factory brushes, I'll be honest with you, I only use either the hog's hair one or the super soft one. If you're using, if you've got black alloy wheels, I wouldn't bother with the hog's hair one because you are going to scratch them. Just use the, the very soft one, but you're only going to do the caps of the wheels and the lug nuts with the brush. I'll explain why. The, some of these brushes, you think they're very safe, and I've found out that that's not the case. And if you've got really dark gloss wheels, you could find that you're going to really micro mar them and for me I like to be delicate with all the jobs I'm doing instead of a brush you're going to want to use a a small wheel mitt this is a garage therapy one I will leave all the products in the description below and then you're going to work that in you may find that, because this isn't a maintenance wash, that it may not remove any embedded brake dust. 
so this car hasn't been cleaned for some time. And let me know in the comments below, what do you guys use for your wheel and tyre cleaners? I quite like the Garage Therapy one, that's a great product. And I am starting to notice that a lot of this embedded dirt isn't coming off. So something like a fallout remover would probably aid that. Just before we rinse off, I'll do the inside of the barrels. I like these big wheel woolies because you can get right to the back of the barrels. They come in a set of three, this big fat one, and they also do a slightly thinner one for getting into behind brake discs and brake calipers. But we've got plenty of space on this wheel. Right, we're now going to rinse off. guys in right so what's really good about this product is the brake discs it's not brown it's got rust inhibitors in it and so it leaves a protective coating on your discs means that your brake discs here are not going to go brown but for any embedded dirt you can see there I'm trying to get you in a little closer that it hasn't removed that embedded dirt and then also inside the barrels there you can still see, hopefully the light, you can still see that that is, it's all still there. So, overall, as long as you haven't got embedded dirt, it has done a very good job at cleaning the wheels. And it's done a very good job of cleaning the tyres. Right, let's go back and summarise this product. So, PNS Brake Buster, what did I think and would I buy it again? I'm sure you agree with me from the video that the product itself is fantastic at cleaning tyres. Yes, it took a couple of few hits, four hits, sorry about the, the noise next door. They're uh, having their house decorated, so typical when I'm filming. Um, the, the product itself removes that browning, dressings, dirt, grime, oils from them tires very, very quickly. And for me, the fact that you can use a wheel and a tire cleaner, that for me is amazing value for money. There's some downsides. The downsides are the price. So that pint size bottle costs about 15 quid. I did get it from Amazon. I will leave the products in the description below so you guys can find them. Um, they do do a bigger, gallon size and that's about 40 quid um but please bear in mind that you can dilute this so you're going to get two pints out of that if you're just using it as a maintenance product so that's not too bad value for money here in the uk if you live in america this is about nine dollars and well nine dollars in english pounds is probably about seven pound fifty eight quid so that there is amazing value for money it's, it's such a shame that you can't get products from America here to the UK at the same cost as what they get them for and vice versa because I know that if uh, anyone wants garage therapy in the US or built hamba they pay a premium for it for, for it going over to America and that must be frustrating for us and for them but it, look, it is what it is we can't change what it is but I would definitely buy this product again I've used this now for several years and it's a firm favorite of mine um, so I'll, you're gonna really enjoy using it so Drop a comment if you're using PNS Brake Buster or what you guys are using instead. Let me know in the comments below. If you like car detailing and you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And if PNS Brake Buster isn't quite for you and you want something a little bit more aggressive, click here. That is my Gion Iron Wheel Cleaner, and I'll see you guys in the next one.